Hulu special, they cut off Jim Cramer to let a 10-year-old explain short selling, well done. Nice try. Get a cocaine habit and TV show and then, and only then, can you be considered a financial expert. I'm halfway there. All I need is the TV show. Well, I certainly have a TV. All we need now is a show. My wife's boyfriend is a magician? Does he make his penis disappear inside your wife a lot? I've seen that trick a thousand times and still don't understand how he does it. Let the boy watch. Powerful thrusts edit, for the uninitiated, YouTube link. He must learn as I learned from my father. It's magic, and lube from the tears of paper hands. For my next trick, the disappearing salami. I'm going to need your wife to be the assistant. Update, my first award. Thank you so much. My father was a magician. The greatest trick he ever pulled was a disappearing act. Sigs are just tiny wands that cast cancer spells. Mine tried to saw me in half. I show a lot, but when I do I get arrested. I'll have a coke, please. Looks like they found someone to replace Jim Cramer's Mad Money show. He's more entertaining. And my kids wouldn't make me change the channel if he's on. We might be on to something. He did already take over Cramer's segment on this show. Jimmy better watch out. I'd start watching if this happened. Smiley face. Man Cramer's hand movements give me anxiety. Every Jim Cramer interview is a sniffle fest. You got to keep the coke in your nose somehow. I mean, I heard it's fresh out of a stripper's butthole. There was nothing fresh about that stripper's butthole. That's not how he likes it. Was her name Persephone but smelled like she was one of Poseidon's children who lived in the deep seas? Wow, smiley face. Yeah that mixture of mannerism and lack of, normal, Motor control is uncanny valley type of crap. He literally looks like an AI computer program generating his movements. As someone who did some AI slash ML, eons ago, I find this offensive. In doing machine learning ATM at Uni Software Ang, I don't know pal anything I've made always feels pretty effing cursed always just broken enough for me to feel bad especially that chatbot that one time. You find me offensive? I find you offensive. Hess what an I deep fake of a gross capitalist would be. Ruffle. Misguided parents and therapists have tried to make autistic children give up their stims, like hand flapping, through applied behavioral analysis, thinking that will make them less autistic. The result is usually that the kids become even more awkward and uncomfortable, since autism isn't something you grow out of. But. Did Jim Cramer attempt to do the opposite? force himself to become more autistic so he could keep up with us? Hmm. I'm surprised they didn't blur out deep effing value. ABA industry is worth $2 billion a year in the US hate to be a bear, but if any of the largest providers ever get publicly listed, I'd go into debt buying puts on them. They don't even require licensing in every state for the practitioners. Seeing as it was promoted by one of the guys who helped invent conversion therapy, I'm thinking ABA's days are numbered. I'm a therapist for people with autism and other differences. I absolutely hate and oppose ABA. For a much more respectful, meaningful and effective intervention for autism, I cannot recommend dear slash floor time enough. Please let us steer the field away from ABA altogether, as it's literally been described as traumatic by individuals who have gone through it. Hand flapping and stimming can be a way to self-regulate and communicate for autistic people. Why would we deny them that? I am autistic, not just in the WSB way. Luckily I never had to go through ABA, but a lifetime of being afraid to take off the mask has still taken a toll. Thank you for standing up for children who need the opportunity just to be themselves and process the world in their own way. I am so grateful for people like you who know there are better ways to learn communication and social skills than through techniques we would no longer even use on a dog. Sending you all the love and support. 
Hopefully when we all get paid we can finally find a rhythm and lifestyle that allows us to be ourselves in the truest sense, and access the resources we need to live how we want. Thank you and in the meantime I'll enjoy learning about investment and trading strategies. It's been a while since I've had a new special interest this compelling. Same here, heart, see you on the moon. This exchange gives me all the feels, heart, thank you teachers and mentors and aides and paras for the incredible work you do. Edit and therapists and psychologists, and PTs and 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 forever on. My eldest daughter is autistic. As far as I am concerned, ABA is abuse, and the push to recommend or insist on it is criminal. It's the sort of presentation bullcrap I would expect a college communications class circa 2006. Use hand movements. Be expressive. Bitch, I got facts and I'm dead inside, I ain't moving crap except to advance the slideshow. I just finished watching it. The staring at the floor and not the camera and many shots got me. He looked like he was still in shock. Cocaine hands, waving hand. But did his friend let him borrow the Xbox to sell? Inquiring minds want a cut of the deal. You see, Jaden is what we call a degenerate. He borrowed an Xbox from friend A and sold it to friend B. He later gets his friend C to borrow it for him from friend B so that he can sell it to friend D. However, the price of the Xbox has not dropped below $500 so Jaden has crafted a web of lies in order to buy himself time so that the price may drop and Jaden can cover his position without three of his friends coming to beat his ass. I want to watch a mini-series where Jaden tries short-selling all of his friends' consoles. Directed by the safeties. Failure to deliver, 2023. Breaking a bad kid. This is how I win. Now three of Jaden's friends all own the same Xbox. Nothing wrong with that, says the SEC. Surprised? No dot entertained? Yes. Dot entertained? Yes also no. Some other kid has my Xbox now. If Jaden's shorting something, I'm buying puts. He made a 5000% ROI on GME in real life. His mom Mina is leading him astray though, I have to train him to let him know you can't just buy anything, you have to read the charts. Here we'll buy anything, because stonks go up. Wait really the 10 yo in the video did? Story? Web link. He literally sold the day it peaked at ATH laughing out loud what a chad. LOL. That kid has already won more at life than 90% of the retards here will in their entire existence. That's not fair. Very likely true laughing my butt off -o. Someone needs to mod that kid. Also, paper handed though, man shrugging. He saved a grand for future investment. He might still be in the fight. I don't blame him, kids don't need to fight the battle with us. If they're smart enough to make money by paper handing, that's still pretty freaking cool. Everyone else though, keep holding. Lost me at the C part, sorry I can only count to B. Reminds me of the assassin that got paid $1 million, which he then outsourced it to another assassin for $500,000. He then outsourced it to another assassin for a lower price, and this continued five times, until the last assassin looked at the low amount he was getting and didn't find the price attractive enough, so he went up to the target and asked him if he could pretend to be dead so he could split the money with him the target refused and this whole thing got unraveled from one assassin to the previous assassin and so on and so forth until all five assassins got caught laughing out loud I'm probably misremembering specific details but basically that's the gist of the story. Was this in China? I think I've heard of it before. Yep October 2019 in China. Five hitmen and the guy who ordered the hit all went to jail. Web link. Sounds like some sort of Ponzi scheme. You can enter people's houses and see if they are using the Xbox, if they aren't then it's free game to take and sell so long as you replace it eventually. The secondary market for video games just started to open up when I was in college and I had a buddy who would steal a console from pretty much every house party we ever went to, since people didn't think to lock them up and they were so easy to gank. He never replaced them though, he just sold them and bought cocaine. Good guy to know. Not a good guy to invite to a party. And that friend's name, Gabe Plotkin. 
Nah, he got addicted to heroin and died years ago, but that's probably for the best, because he was a nasty effer and he would have ended up running the most evil hedge fund ever. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Can you imagine how much healthier, or at least more fair for shareholders, the market would be if the people who borrowed shares had to pay a percentage gain to the original owner of the share and not the bank slash broker? Healthier? Fair. Not to the broker. Lots of brokers kick back some of the profits from lending your shares. Some brokers do pay you to use your shares for shorting. And pretty sure for others it's down to the account type. E.g. you may need to upgrade and pay more fees so they forego the profit on borrowing your stock. This is the way. At least that's what IBKR does with me. I get a few dollar to keep the wife's boyfriend's BMW fueled up. They do on Interactive Broker. I heard the Xbox was misplaced. That's my effing Xbox. That was the toaster. Not only that but this MF ended up selling two Xbox despite borrowing only one. Nah, he didn't sell it back to Nate. He sold Nate's copy, bought a cheaper one then gave it back. But he did lose all of Nate's progress in Skyrim. Nate's a sucker anyway. But hey, that showbiz baby. Somebody went to the school of WSB. Web link. I came here to say this, clapping, 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 this should be higher, up arrow. They literally let him get all the way to the end of his explanation and then were like nah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they probably cut a few minutes of meandering explanation. Mighty generous of you to assume that was the end of whatever garbage he was spewing. Yeah, to be honest, I thought this was incredibly poorly done. Kramer was already effing done explaining, why let him do the whole explanation, and then just do the whole thing again with some kid. As part of my New Year's resolution I'm no longer arguing with strangers online. That being said, most people won't understand how they can sell a stock they don't own. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.